What would you say to Pascal Gross back in August 2017, walking down the tunnel before Brighton's first Premier League game of the season? Difficult. I was just um, excited. It's a new challenge in my life. Different country, different league. Enjoy it and, and try to enjoy every moment and try to get better. Solly March chipped in and it's come to Gross. Shooting charge is there! Pascal Gross with Albion's first goal of the Premier League season, their first ever in the Premier League. You scored Brighton's first ever Premier League goal, so I want to test your knowledge. It's been a while since then. Yes. Do you remember who was the opposition, who provided the assists, and in which minute you scored a goal? Okay, I cannot answer all of them, <laughs> that's for sure. So it was against West Bromwich Albion. Correct. I don't know which minute, it was the first half. And maybe I got the ball from Solimac. So you got two out of three, correct? And I was wondering what's the, the greatest moment you have from your entire Brighton career so far? It's also difficult to pick one because we went through different stages. I still think to, to stay up in the first year was a big moment for the club because um, if you can stay in the Premier League as a promoted team, you can see these days, that's massive to build something towards then, so my 1-0 winner against Manchester United at home to secure, to stay in the Premier League was probably a big moment. Take me back to the first season as a, as a Brighton player in the Premier League. Do you ever believe that a few years later the club will play in the Europa League? Probably not, but you always try your best. I personally always, what I just said, try to improve every single day and I still try to do that. And I think if with that mentality, if, if every player has it, if the club has it, you, you can make steps forward, little steps. And um, if you go step by step, then you go in the right direction, you can achieve big things. And qualifying, qualifying now to the knockout stage, how confident are you that you can really progress further and really challenge every position in the Europa League? Very confident. Every team we play, it's a little bit different kind of football, so we learned our lessons because a lot of players from us not played in, in European football yet, but um, we improved already. Every team who have to play against us is, don't think it's a good draw, so we need to be confident, but we, we also need to earn our right. Come on! Those special European nights, how magical do you think it is for the Brighton fans? Yeah, incredible. I know Brighton fans and our staff as well, they support the club since 40, 50 years. It's the best times um, the club ever ever been through and we, we want to give them more. We, we fight um, not only for us, we fight for the supporters, we fight for the whole history of the club, what is, what is different to many other clubs. I'm sorry because I, I have only one Pascal Gross on yeah. the squad. I would like uh, to speak with uh, his father and mother if there is another Pascal Gross or another Gross anyway, but I think it's impossible. Your manager, Roberto Di Zerbi, recently described you as one of the best players I've ever worked with during my career. That's a great compliment. How would you reflect on playing under Roberto's management? Yes, it is an incredible compliment. Of course, um, I think we as a club are really lucky to have him. I think the way we, the way we play, the way we perform, uh, the amount of players, everyone is improving. I said this before, maybe also players you don't see on the pitch all the time they improving, um, so I think um, the manager is um, we really lucky and we should be happy and try to make the best out of it. Speaking of the manager, he recently said that he believed that uh, Jack uh, Hinchelwood could be the new Pascal Gross. I think Jack is, is better than I was when I was 18. I played um, on a different kind of level, he's already playing in the Premier League, and, but I know what he means. Um, he has an incredible mentality, Jack. I think he wants to get better every single day. You can see it in his face. He's listening what the gaffer says. He's uh, listening to the senior players. Um, great attitude and great ability. And that combined is, is very good and very special. Dale Stevens, your former teammate here at Brighton, said previously that you've got many qualities, but the biggest one is the fact you're so unselfish. Would you agree with that? I think that's one of my biggest strengths, yeah, I always said like um, for me I'm a team player, I see football as a team sport, um, when I can score assist obviously I'm really happy um, and I want to do that as often as I can but when the team wins 
Um, it doesn't matter for me, it doesn't matter which position I play. So wherever I play, I, I try to do my job as good as I can for the team. And when we win, I, I'm really happy.